Right, boys and girls here we are let's go five nine yes one more day one more day until ncaa that's why we've been streaming all of these cardinal streams on back to back to back days i want to get this season over so we can focus 100 percent on ncaa for a little bit um I stopped streaming hard on NCA back in the spring. Um, we've been we've been hammering away on baseball all summer, and I'm ready for the new game. I'm ready to get in there and play it and, and do all that stuff. Um, yeah, no problem, Carlito. Um, today isn't going to be a hard day because I'm going to play this for five or six hours. Tomorrow is going to be the hard day. Tomorrow it's going to take forever. To get to three o'clock <laughs> um i will go live like five minutes before three o'clock we're, we're gonna go live and my intro will eat up over two minutes of that five minutes so we won't have a whole lot of time to uh kill <clears throat> you can see right here did i take it down yeah i took it down <clears throat> Ah. I had a screenshot showing that it was installed yesterday. So, anyway, here we are. So, we beat Arizona three games to one, beat the Dodgers in six, Texas beat Cleveland three games to one, and they beat Baltimore in six. So, let's go look at Texas's roster before we get started, real quick. So, Evan Carter is their best player, he's a 97 overall at 24 years old. 30 homers, 106 RBI, hit 323 this year. Did he win the MVP? No. Silver Slugger, Hank Aaron, did not win MVP. Corey Seager hit 41 and 110 and did not win MVP. Won the American League MVP. They also have Yuri Perez, who they traded for 
three years ago. <clears throat> um, Josh Young kills lefties. Adolis is regressing hard. Uh, Flaherty's nothing special. Nathaniel Lowe is out one to two weeks. So um, I don't think he's going to be available until game six or seven, if then. They do have a good closer in Tanner Scott with 98 clutch, 99 velocity. Michael King's okay. Not great, but he's okay. Wyatt Langford, he kills righties. Um, Duran is their second baseman, and he's regressing some against lefties. Um, their starting staff is not great. And Jack Leiter's out for the playoffs. It's 3 p.m. Central, 4 o'clock Eastern. Um, so their starting staff is nothing ridiculous like the Dodgers, who had four pitchers in the 90s. <laughs> Corbin Burns was their number five starter, and he's regressing. Uh, they do have a couple of good setup guys. They have a really good closer. Catcher is kind of meh. He's hurt, so Hoskins has to play first, and he doesn't hit well against righties. Duran's their second baseman. Young's their third baseman. He does better against lefties and righties. Seeger does well against both. Langford does better against righties than lefties. Schwarber does better against righties than lefties. Carter does better against righties. And Adolis um, has more power against lefties. His contact's kind of eh. So, formidable lineup. Not a uh, not an intimidating pitching staff. And uh, series starts right here in the rotation. So we're going to go Manoa. Then we're going to go Fromber because he pitched so well against the Dodgers. Then Bybee. Then Cutliff. And we may or may not get to Painter. I don't know if I'll go with five pitchers or not. Um, he might just get uh, stuck back in the bullpen. Back for the first game, we'll stick him back in the bullpen. But that's going to fuck everything up, isn't it? Um, let's see. There, we'll do it like that. Let's verify that stays right. So Manoa, Valdez, Bybee, Cutliff, Manoa, Valdez, Bybee. So anyway, that's where we are. Um, this will be the last baseball stream I do for a bit because of NCAA, and I need a, a mental break from playing. People over on YouTube don't really watch the uh, streams that I stick over there anyway. I get way more engagement on, on the live stream here than anybody watching it over there. I just put it over there as an archive type thing, so they watch it great, they don't watch it, whatever. <clears throat> we'll see how they do with college football, because I had some streams that got over 8,000 views when I stuck it over on YouTube just archiving it. <laughs> So we'll see. Um, I will tell you that tomorrow, um, I'm just going to pick a random team, and we're going to recruit and play sim games. We're not going to play any gameplay. We're just going to fast sim, maybe some slow sim, just to get through the games and focus on recruiting and try to get us to the transfer portal. Um, when I start, when I start doing gameplay streams, you'll know because you will see. You'll see this. You'll see the Mizzou background stuff. Uh, Jacoby Jones died? That's too bad. What did he die from? Medical emergency? Car accident? What was that? What was the deal? Let's get going, boys and girls. Let's get going. Um, for the game one, and it's a Saturday. I'll let them play in those uniforms, but we're going to go with our baby blues. We're wearing baby blues on the road the entire World Series. Cardinals need to go back to these full time. And they're going to go with it open. No clue. Let me go look.
Well, if they don't know how he died, it was probably uh, a heart attack or a stroke or something like that. I'm not going to tell you the reason why, but you guys should know by now why. in Texas. We're live inside Globe Light Field. Coming up, Game 1 of the World Series on MLB The Show. It's the St. Louis Cardinals and oh, the Texas Rangers. I got my, uh... Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton. Arenado, Team USA jersey on. no better atmosphere in all of baseball than Game 1 of the Fall Classic, Singy. Lots of excitement to get this thing started. Yeah, and the players feel that they've scored less runs per game and they've given up more runs. So this highly favors us. Now we played them in July, no, August, and we got swept at their place. So. I was hoping Revamp would come in here and watch his Texas boys play. Maybe he will later. Boogie brings a ton of confidence with him to the mound. He's looking for good at bats and a few runs from his teammates, and he's hoping to take care of the rest to make sure they come away with a win. If he's on in this one, it's going to be a real uphill battle for everyone else. Fouled off. Yeah, I got it during the uh, baseball classics. Got the, the logo on the sleeve and stuff. Up the middle. See that kick off the mound went right to Seeger. <laughs> That was going a little farther to his left and a kick back towards him. Still might have got me out, but that's kind of funny, that little detail. It's just a high fly ball. I don't think that's enough to get out of here. I just want to reiterate for the 9,000th time, I hate this stadium. I like the ballpark at Arlington way better than this garage. It's like an airplane hangar. I rolled over. Oh, my wife and a bunch of her girlfriends went to French Lick, Indiana, because it was kind of in between where they all live. She sent me a picture of her with all of her girlfriends standing in front of a, a Larry Bird statue. They're going to be she's coming home today. So, trying to get this World Series done before she gets back. Because I'm sure she's going to want to tell me all about her trip. Come on, give me that call. There we go. Let's go. There's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to got to keep him speed, off the bases, just like we do with Otani. It's the other guys that have to think about it. From your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. One out, base is empty. Liner to second and picked on the hop. Gorman. All right, there we go. And two quick outs in the bottom of the first here tonight. This guy, he and Evan Carter and Langford are the three that we just cannot let us, can't let them beat us. We got to keep these guys in check and let everybody else try and do some work. Grim Reaper, welcome in. Haven't missed much. We're in the bottom of the first. He's not ready to pull the trigger. He's not worried if he gets to an 0 2 count. Mm. Here we go. Same way we got Wyatt Langford. Here you go. Take it out, wild one. Back in Arlington, second inning, set to go. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Jordan Walker. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One wonderful thing about the postseason, you never know who's going to be the hero. It could be the superstar, but often it's a far more unlikely player. 
Yeah, blew it by me. I was looking away. I was looking away. Come on. He had not hit well with Walker since the first round. Yeah, don't swing at that garbage. Get out there. We gotta get these two guys going. Gorman and Walker in the middle of order just haven't been doing shit. We gotta get them going because we can't rely on Mason Wynn and Newt Bar. A regressing Arenado all playoffs. <clears throat> Mm. Ooh, I mean, 99. That's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind right now. Fuck. He has some arthritis in my left thumb. It is really barking at me the last month. Come on, Nolan. Here we go. Inside the bag for the first hit. He's too slow to get a double. He's yachty slow. <laughs> Come on, Lars. High pitches don't bother me as much as low pitches do. Well, at least we got our first base runner, so got that taken care of. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's a big power threat. Kyle Schwarber just missed. This dude, give me a call on the edge. Got to add some velocity, subtract at times. Just avoiding the heart of the plate isn't always going to be enough. Guys like this can hurt you with pitches you wouldn't expect them to swing at. One ball, two strikes. And one out. Just threw it by him. Just a mid 90s challenge fastball right there, not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But you know what happens? Pitch misses there, and a count two and one. And another ball. No score here in the second. And he walked it. Damn. Why it's pretty thick. I didn't realize why it was that thick. He went. There we go. Oh. Quick power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Adolis Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. He's in a great spot right here, ahead in the count 0 2. All four pitches in play right here, partner. This is with a changeup. Two. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking. Got him. There we go. Strikes he goes. That is the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors. And we're back. New inning getting started. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. And a good Fuck, he's just blowing that shit by me today. I am so late. He 
beat it out. There we go. Got the wheels. There we go. <laughs> he doesn't get there. That's a run and at least a double. So good for Adolis to cut it off. But now he got a man in scoring position. Nobody out. Tommy two bags. Time to run up this guy's pitch count. Donovan's on deck too. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. The two-one. Ball three. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. Yeah, he spits on that one. He was right there. He swung over it. Double play would still get us a run. Why would I swing in a pitch over my head? Alright, Donovan, you got much better vision. I can't believe I swung at that pitch. Fucking ball four. What over my head? And you swing at it. Is that enough? It's enough to get a run home. It's gone. It's a three-run bomb. Yes. Wow, I didn't think I got all of it. I thought maybe it was just going to be a, a sack fly. <laughs> well, okay, let's go. Oh, good change up. Benny really sells the change up with that arm action. Off the mark there. And a count one and two. And there's a ball. Really good. Pushing his pitch count up to 40, which is good. The two strike pitch and he'll see another. What is his uh 74? All right. <laughs> Still only one out. Inside ball four. Got him rattled. Do you think you could draw a walk in the bigs if we gave you enough now, bats? Now, now. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think that if they gave the pitcher a full scouting report on me, yes, I think I could draw a walk. Walker, now at the plate as he swings oh, through strike one. Yeah. 
Pitch one misses one. there, and it's one and one. At the belt and fires. Yeah. Go over it. It's all right. Sometimes being lucky is a still looking at the high fastball. Contact with that pitch probably hits into a double play. <laughs> that one lifted in the air center field. Guess we didn't hit him a double play. And there's two down. So man aboard. Now up for St. Louis. Nolan Gorman. There we go. And that gets down into the gap. And it kicks off the base of the wall. He's going to have to hold because he's not very fast. Anybody besides uh, Arenado and Naylor scores on that play. You don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. That pretty much split the zone down the middle. And those are the ones trying to shoot that right. Here's Nolan Arenado. Naylor, the runner at third. Gorman on at second with two down. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Just missed. He's made 29 pitches this inning. Number 30 right here. Swing and a miss. And Nasty down. slider. It's okay. That ends the inning. And Donnie is clutch, man. St. Louis gets three on the homer. It's now 3 nothing. You're watching the World Series on the show. Back at Globe Life Field. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sam Huff. He caught it behind his back. Gathers and throws. <laughs> and very nicely done for the out. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Three. And that's it for a strike. The Rangers trailing by three. You're in the last half of the third. That one's in there, and that is strike two. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Everything came together for him. Just a simple ground ball the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. And yeah, there's a foul ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him again. There we go. Got him. Struck him out twice already. Got him. Let's go. Picks up strikeout number seven. <laughs> Rangers lead. Game one of the World Series. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Nootbaar. Ripped on a line. Carter. That was a rope, man. Sometimes you want to be aggressive. Pulls that at all. It's a home run. Was right there. Hard line out. First pitch of the inning. No reward, but hey, you got to keep swinging. Mm. Nope. At the plate and takes high there. The shortstop takes the ball. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. That one missed. Okay, four pitch walk. I'll take that. Let's go. Y'all just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Wilson Contreras. Harris now up to the plate. Singled and scored his first time. Late on that fastball. Oh and one. The pitch. Hit him. All right. Two on, one out. You know, Boone, there always seems to be that. Well, now we got another guy in scoring position. Come on, Tommy. 
most of the time, it's right when he lets it go. He knows that it's not headed where he intended it to go. He is totally lost out there. His confidence is about halfway. Energy is below half. Hmm. Good change up. I was way out in front. Two on, one out. Battling here as he fouls it away. And he deals. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Two two. Out towards right center field. Garcia sizing this one up. And makes the grab. Runner tags at second, goes to third, oh. in there. <laughs> and now they've got runners at the corners with two outs. Brendan Donovan, next up for the Cardinals. He's already homered here in this one. And he's going to get another RBI right there. <laughs> Four ribs in game one for Donnie Boy. Let's go. And the postseason success continues for him. Here's another guy with 97 clutch. Oh, we to topped right. it. Durant. All right, we extend the lead. Need those tack on runs as often as you can get them. And they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here is Corey Seager. Right through there for a strike. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Well, these Rangers just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't there we go. Struck him out. Those locations. And Man, if we can keep today, Seager made him chase a little bit out of and Carter there, off the bases, their job gets a whole lot better. A whole lot easier. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a make a better pitch. And that's off the inside edge. Two and one. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond. And they just keep eating. Struck him out twice as well. Offering is fouled off. Righty delivers. Swing at a bouncer. Arenado. Whips it All right, Alex, pitching way better than he did against the Dodgers. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They're down four nothing. They hand the ball over to. And they already gone to their bullpen. That's a win for us. We're only in the fifth inning. This guy will probably throw four innings in relief. Leading things off and takes a strike. Quickly to get through. There we go. That's a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. This guy's a soft tosser. Let's go look at him. He doesn't do much of anything good. <clears throat> 93 fast, 91 2, 78 curve, 79 change up, 83 slider. <laughs> He's a starting pitcher, so he's probably in for the duration one for two and first offering is fouled off at least we don't have to worry about 99 high heat now you got to worry about these slow ass pitches but we can hammer curveballs this guy's like a right-handed lefty right lefty junk baller he's a righty junk baller warming up as well Hey. Through that one golf that. <clears throat> Good timing, just missed it. In the dirt, runner holds tight as the 
count moves to two and two. Right into the play. I was late because I was looking at for off speed. Fastball on the outer black. Man, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. Here's Nolan Arenado. In the air to left center. On the move. Puts it away for the out. Man at first. Lars Newtbaugh. Next up for the Cardinals. Oh, Lars. Way outside. Ball one. Sometimes that scoreboard in the corner gets stuck because I can't see how many pitches they've thrown. Any other info I need to see? <clears throat> Come on, hang one. Hang one. Let's go. Didn't hang one. Let's go. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now Josh Young on the ground, right side. Toss to Naylor and a quick out number one. So next to hit for Texas, Adolis Garcia. First pitch doesn't find the zone. They've got a potent lineup. And when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. And it falls. So a man aboard now with one away. Next up for Texas, Sam Hunt. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Ball one there. Outside low, two and one. Swings through that one. The Rangers down by four. Last half of an inning, number five. Good thing we had the catcher batting. Slow ass runner. Able to turn that too. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And we're back. And now the shortstop, Mason Wynn. Wynn back to Got a hit and a walk. On the ground to the left. Ooh. I thought that was going to sneak by him. One off, one down. <laughs> Wilson Contreras. <laughs> Next up for the Cardinals. Just missed. Win. The former rookie of the year. He features a four seam fastball, a curve, a slider. A a rookie of the year? And he works in a two seamer. When was he a rookie of the year? This year. 14 and 6 with 329. Gave up 29 home runs. And he's pitching out of the bullpen. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to back two strikes. Let's go, let's go, let's go. One down, base is empty. Lined into right. Dive. All right. Doesn't catch the ball. Base runner on with one out. <clears throat> Bottom of this lineup's been doing some damage. Getting on base. Every time, except for the first inning, Edmund, every time he's come up, he's had at least one on, maybe two on. Yeah. Couldn't wait for that pitch. It was so early. Again. Look at that. Lefties are hitting 833. Jesus. Outside. Man at first, one away. And that's in the dirt. That one misses, and the count's full. Come on. And here it comes. That 
Left in the gap. There we go. That might score a run. We're going to send him. There we go. Five to nothing. All right, Donovan's already got four ribs in this game. <clears throat> that one fouled off. One out and a runner at second. Down and in, moved his feet. Chase that time. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. And the right hander deals. That misses the zone. And now three of them. <coughs> three balls, one strike. That one is absolutely belted. And it's gonna be five RBIs for Donnie. Look at that. He needs a triple for the cycle. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of... Oh, yeah! <clears throat> One out, runner at second. He's got five ribs in this game. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. Two away. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. One for three. Mm. And a foul ball. Donovan on third with two out. And ball one. downstairs and outside almost swung Next offering upstairs. <laughs> Nolan Gorman waits on deck yeah. and he chases a high fastball there Wow, good luck catching up to that one. Out to short, Seeger throws the first. Oh, last two swings were ball four. Runs on three hits, no error. Back in Arlington, bottom of the inning. Now it's going to be Reese Hoskins, the right-hander, back to work. That catches the top part of the zone. And that's strike one. Well, every pitcher wants a run support. Now, this ball is well hit. This one's got a chance. That'll make it out of here. Tried for it. Ball's too high. To the lead, it's 6-1. Well, there goes the shutout. Just like that. They're still behind, but this is a start. Man, he just barely got that one out of here. And you've got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it. Just couldn't quite pull it off. All right, we've kept Evan Carter off the paths. Two strikeouts. And a ground out. It's a foul ball. And that's just foul. One run across to the frame so far here in the bottom of the six. And that's an out. So now it's Corey Seager. And first offering is fouled off. Wow. Two down, nobody on. Keeps the attack going with a foul ball. Ground ball up the middle. Whips it to first on the run. And he's off the base with two strikeouts and a ground out. <clears throat> One run in six innings, I'll take that. 
of inning number seven. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Nolan Gorman. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down in the corner. The throw in. He's out by a mile. Can't believe he missed it. I can't believe it didn't go out. <clears throat> back to back base hits. Absolutely. Yeah, Bush, that's a home run. All right, new pitcher. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Lars needs to get on the uh, uh, fucking hit parade, and it's not going to happen like that. <clears throat> Got a 91 clutch, and I'm swinging at the first pitch. All right, Mason. Mason win. Can we get another attack on run? Swing and a miss. <clears throat> All one's the count. Mm. Looking splitter slider. Couldn't hold up. That's all right. <clears throat> yeah, it's okay. Set for the last half of the seventh. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Oh, I really like how he's been attacking hitters early in at bats. He's thrown strikes on the first to over seventy percent of the guys he's faced in this one. In the dirt, and the count one and two. Be like Mike with a rate of eleven. Welcome in, Mike. Thank you for the raid. See what you were playing. Seto Corsa. Hey, welcome in, man. Welcome, welcome. We are playing the World Series here in year four with the Cardinals. And uh, it's game one, so we're, we're early on, man. How was your stream? Did you have a good one today? Go. So we're going to be streaming college football 25 tomorrow. Love that jersey. Here, look. It's Arenado. <laughs> From uh, World Baseball Classic. Yeah, sit up. My back's a little sore. Oh, man. Stepping in for the Rangers. And there's a strike. Brendan Donovan has five of the six RBIs today. He had a three run homer in the third, and, he, and then he had an RBI, RBI single and an RBI double. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Naylor. He takes it himself. All right, Manelis through seven. Let's go. They're unable to chip away. We look ahead to inning number eight. It's we also have uh, one of these the oldies but goodies. Here comes AJ Minter to the mound. This is their fourth pitcher, so it's good to see their bullpen and good to wear them out. I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Wilson's got two hits today. He only scored one run. So we uh, normally just do baseball in the summer and uh, college football fall and winter, baseball in spring and summer. But with the new football game coming out tomorrow, we're going to get back to doing college football full time. For at least a little bit. Yeah. I pulled my hands in and couldn't do it. <clears throat> oh, man. St. Louis. Yeah, they won a doubleheader yesterday. Yep. They were losing that game and came back. Kicked their ass in the first game. Sorry, Specta. One of my mods is a uh, a Cubs fan. <laughs> I give him trouble all the time. Those baby back Cubs. Ah. Foul 
Not the extreme hatred like the Dodgers and Giants and Yankees and Red Sox, but they still don't like the Cubs, man. Here comes a pitch. Whew, that was filthy. Let me put it this way. I'd root for the Yankees in the World Series over the Cubs. <laughs> Broke his bat. It's the first time they've gotten him out. Probably. No, they might have gotten him out the first, maybe. Bottom of the eighth, and now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Swing. He has a quick inning. I'll let him go nine. Unless things start to change, the pressure tomorrow is really going to be on this home side. You can afford to lose game one, but you can't go down 0-2 at home. Whoa. So they'll need to forget about this one quickly. And the righty deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of... Come on, I didn't hit him. It's a ridiculous game. Well, he just couldn't get out of the way of that one. And that's not an easy thing to do when you've got a fastball coming in hot. The Cardinals leading by five. Stages of game one. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. This to third. Five, four, Let's see if we can uh, get this last out. And start with a fresh pitcher in the ninth. In the box with two gone. Takes a look at a cold strike. All right, now he may have not liked either of those. There we go. You hit a home run, and then we tee you up with three straight strikes. And Manoa's done. Here's their fifth pitcher of the game. And now Josh Naylor. You guys that watched my Rockies franchise last year, you know we had Burke. We had Burke in our bullpen. Come on, Jay Walk. We need to get you warmed up. First offering misses badly for ball one. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the night. And that's downed away. Movement in the bullpen. <laughs> Dane Dunning getting ready to go. Ripped on a line to center. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Nolan Gorman next up for the Cardinals. Jack swing and he held up. Next offering misses, and it's 2 0. Oh. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and it's 2 and 1. We were a late, late decision to swing. You can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Come on. All right, we'll look down the middle instead of inside. Now we'll throw it inside. Put the inning over with. Let's go. New pitcher. New pitcher now, Jojo Romero. Jojo had a good year. The left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Romero. Last ball for a strike, and it's 0-1. And, That's his third strikeout today. He's two outs away. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. First offering is fouled off. Mm. And that one missing low. The cards leading by five. Here the last half of inning number nine. Got him. him down on strikes. More out. We'll go up one nothing. You can punch out the top two guys in the lineup to start an inning. Got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter. Any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. 
We lived in Fort Collins. I lived in Englewood. Now it's called Centennial because they changed the border. And I uh, went to school in Greeley. I went to northern Colorado. That was from 83 to 88. Got him. Struck out the side. Let's go. When he never gets old, and that's a winner. That's a winner. Level of a fear of failure. That's what brings out the best, knowing that if I don't bring it today, we can, we can change our stream info. It's hard to play at this level. Nice win today. So singing, oh. as the numbers show, a great performance on the mound in this one. Absolutely, <clears throat> and that really set Manila, three hits, one walk, one run, 10 Ks. One bad pitch was a home run. Otherwise, he could have pitched a shutout. Donovan. Brendan Donovan, three for five with a double, a single, a double, and a three-run homer. And he drove in five. He's got 16 RBI in the playoffs. 16 RBI in the playoffs. Let's go look and see who the leader is for uh, playoff MVP and World Series MVP. I bet she is Donovan for both. Donovan, postseason MVP. It's not even close. <clears throat> Romber against Blackjack. They're not going to wear their City Connects. They're going to wear their regular home. They're wearing those. Fromber. Here you go. So now we have to worry about Young and Langford. Um, those two guys crush lefties. And um, obviously Seeger hits both sides really well. The World Series on MLB, the show coming up is the St. Louis Cardinals and the Texas Rangers. Just about set to go. And on the hill in this one, Jack Flair. Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Yeah, there's a the ball. That's in there. Neri <laughs> Perez was easily their best starting pitcher, so beating him in game one is huge. As their pitching gets worse as the rotation goes. Two, two now. <clears throat> first, Hoskins steps on first for the out. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. The left leader, number 33, Brendan Donovan. Just oh, off the outside that. edge, ball one. Ground ball to the right side. I love how the pitchers get an extra speed boost to run the first base to beat the runner every time. <laughs> as soon as they catch the ball, they speed up. It's noticeable. Tennessee, we went to Pigeon Forge uh, three years ago. And... Uh, Fucking semi ran us off the road in Kentucky, wrecked our car, totaled our car, broke my wrist. <clears throat> Yacked up my daughter's shoulder. What a fucking vacation that was. We went in two cars and came back in two different cars. I had a good time there, but would have had more fun if I didn't have a broken wrist. Come on. 
a changeup and occasionally uses a cutter. We cannot find our mark with him. What's the deal? And there's the automatic. <clears throat> In the air, oh, that curveball. I'll take that. Makes the grab one away. Here is Marcus Simi. That one's a little bit low, and that's ball one. Well, Marcus, a career high 45 homers in 2021. Damn, I am struggling to find my release point with this guy. Seven year free agent deal with the Rangers. Hey, there's a strike. Next pitch misses, and that's ball three. One down, base is empty. And it's ball four, he missed down low. Probably well, tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Ball one, no strike. Man at first, one away. And that one hammered. Way back there. And it's gone! So what happens when you can't put the ball where you want. <clears throat> Nope. In the box now as he leaves that one up high. Aye. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Popped up. Gorman. Has this one sized up? Drops into the glove. Out. Number two. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Well, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Come on. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. <laughs> Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Ground ball, Naylor. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home. And we're back. All set for the start of the inning. Now up the Cardinals' number four hitter, Jordan Walker. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Outstanding catch right there, and I love the commitment that he <laughs> Close, but was determined to make that catch and a nice calculation of just how much room he had to try to minimize that contact. The pitch. Base knock right for you. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. He was all over that one. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. Oh. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Langford strips towards it. <coughs> Two away. Good pitch. <coughs> Just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Lars Nukbaugh. Next up for the Cardinals. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. I didn't miss that pitch. I don't know how he swung through that. And he'll two. Hit in the air, left field, moving under it. Corrals it. And that is that. So and welcome back to the ballpark. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. He takes it on his own and quickly one away in the second. Well, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you got to be locked in. Can't make a mistake that can cost your team the season. Into the outfield, big hit. So a man aboard now with one away. We know he's not stealing. Now it's 
Reese, the second baseman. Ezekiel Duran. In the dirt, blocked. Tag safe. Wow. Good throw, and he's out. What the fuck, Contreras? Come on, man. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. A wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides, and with the stuff pitchers have today, you just have to have a Keep him at second base. <clears throat> Donovan makes the catch for the out. Uh, two away down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Sam Buck stands in now. No swing. There you go. I thought so. And he went around according to Patrick Johnson. Runner at second, two down. Here in game two. Wouldn't chase that time. 0-2 oh, count. You got the opportunity to expand the zone. Could get the chase there. Let's see what he comes back with next. Ripped to right, base in. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Textbook bat control right there. Got a pitch on the outside, saw it deep into the zone, and just barreled it up, went the other way for the knock. That one hit left field. Donovan going back on this one. Oh, just shy of the wall. So they strand a pitch. Out of the third inning, now up for St. Louis, Mason Wynn. Fastball for a strike. Oh, no. scooped it. Langford settles underneath it. And there's one down. <laughs> and up to him is Wilson. Come on, Wilson. Is that one below the zone? Oh, one's the count. Yeah, better discipline than that. The Rangers leading by two here in game two of the World Series. Out towards left center. Side Bunch of weak fly balls. <laughs> center fielder Tommy Edmund pitch misses and it's one and oh and another ball two outs bases empty swing and a miss two and one now well, he came right at him right there, challenged him with the 2-0 fastball. Not sure exactly what he was looking for, but got to imagine that's a confidence boost. Everything's a weak fly ball. Head a little bit. <clears throat> Flashes the leather on the running catch. Back in Arlington as we go to the last of the third. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Puts it in the air out towards left. Been able to hit my spots way better after that first inning. I think a game was just fucking with me and wanted me to give it those runs early. It's own one. Swung on, belted. How did he hit that pitch that was up and away and pull it? Felt good. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Swing and a miss. Strike one. One and one. One out, bases empty, and a run in here in the last half of the third. Drill out towards left center field. That's well struck. All right, he's done. Got all in that one. Back to back, Jackson. This club is. <clears throat> Manager out of the dugout. Righty reliever out of the pen, Andrew Painter. He's into the game with the bases empty. And now, Adolis Garcia. That one's in there, 0-1. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. 
Swings through that. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. And ring him up, says Patrick Johnson. That's a strikeout. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three-pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a lot of confidence in that pitch right now. Langford takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Swing and a miss. And that is strike one. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And that is that. <coughs> two round trippers in. Game two. All right, offense needs to wake the fuck up now. Stepping in, Brendan Donovan. Out to short, Seeger. Tosses the first. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Josh Naylor. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. Keep hitting warning track shots to center field, man. Pull the ball. And next is the designated hitter, Jordan Walker. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The Rangers leading by four. Top half of inning number four. That one at the knees for a strike. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Tapped in front of the plate. Throws the first in time. And that's the third out. Offense held a check there. Fucking Flaherty. Bottom of the fourth. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Fought off foul. Well, these Rangers really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. Nope, they were obviously ball. able to run the starter out of the game in the third, so they've set the table for a win, and now I'm sure they're thinking it's time to feast. That one to first. Sneaks through, base hit. And aboard on the leadoff single. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. So if they're looking to feast, are you saying they've already got a plate but are looking to go back for seconds? <laughs> yeah, I'd say something like that. Hoskins Three. gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And yeah, the batter now, Sam Huff. That one catches the corner for a strike. This one lifted in the air, left field. Donovan on his way over, squeezes it. So two down now, and here is Evan Carter. Line drive. Donovan puts it away, and that is that. All right, offense, wake up. Let's fifth. go. Nolan Gorman. <clears throat> and that is ball one. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Let's see if he's willing to use the whole field right here. Definitely pounding him away. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right there. Here's Nolan Arenado. Can't stand Flaherty. Swings through that one. Oh and one. Arenado measures six feet two inches. Thirty-five years old. He's a former National League Gold Glover. Get the fuck out of here. Nope. Makes the grab on the run. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Lars Newbar. He's 0 for 1. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Good eye in that spot. Left hand hitter waits. Yeah, it's right at him. Carter makes the play, and 
And that is that. And we're back. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now here's the Rangers DH. Marcus Simeon. On the ground to short. To first. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Talk about being able to dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there might need a little pad inside that first baseman's mitt. Looked like it was a little bit up. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. Looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Young. Oh, and a curve good. misses outside. Bounced out to short. Toss to three Naylor. Down. Three up, three down, inning over. Back at Globe Life Field. Leading off, Mason Wynn. First offering is fouled off. We have one fucking hit. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball <laughs> there. Kicks and fires. Up the middle. And that one handled. Now a jump throw. Lead off man retired in the sixth. Wilson Contreras now up to the plate. That one way inside. And a foul ball. Hardy. Let's go. And a pitch. And now two and one. The Rangers leading by four. And we're in the top half of the sixth. Ground ball left side. Young tossed the first, and Contreras is retired. Back to the top of the lineup. And here comes Tommy Edmond. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And another fly out to center field. God damn. Every time we have good contact, it's to Wyatt Langford, or I'm sorry, Evan Carter in center field. Nothing else is weak-ass contact. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Here's the swing and a miss. Oh, That one misses, and it's one and two. Oh. Just Ooh. missed. It's a good take. <laughs> yeah, the you. curve is down and in. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. In the air, center field. Edmund sizes this one up. That's a shortstop's ball. I don't know why you're making a center fielder run that far in. So next to hit for Texas, Wyatt Lankford. Right side. Makes the grab. And there's two away. Two outs, bases empty. Reese Hoskins now at the plate. First oh. offering, and it just misses. Hey. A big swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. Two down, nobody on. Here in the bottom of the sixth. Waves at the bender for the All right, Painter. I'm pitching great. <laughs> Back in Arlington. And the batter now, Brendan Donovan. The wind of the pitch. That one ripped, but foul. <laughs> Come on. Comes the 0 1. 
swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And there's one away. Notice how they're swinging too early or too late. That's a timing problem. They need to guess right on a few of those pitches. And I mean make an educated guess. The next to hit takes ball one. If I could just turn off Chris Singleton and leave the other guy announcing, I would. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And a couple of quick outs. Next to hit, Jordan Walker. That this feels like trying to pass against revamp in NCAA. <laughs> Everybody's covered, and every time I throw a pass, it's picked. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. <clears throat> the Redbirds down by four here in the late stages of game two. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Still in total. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. And the right hander back to work. That's in for a strike at 95. It's 0 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And the pitch. That's off the mark, and the count is one and two. That one down the line, and foul ball. Straight through that one, it's a strikeout. <clears throat> Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. That's a hit. And that turns the lineup over. Everything came together for him. Not a bad slider by any means. It was down and away, but an even better job to spoil that thing. And he let it travel, one, didn't try to hook it. Man, that's a really good approach. All one. Next offering is downstairs. One else. Swing, and that ball smashed on the line. Makes the catch. And there's two down. Then at first, next is the designated hitter, Marcus Simeon. The one off. Last ball for a strike. One ball, one strike. Comes up empty. That's strike two. One ball, two strikes. And a swing and a miss. All right, he's done. <clears throat> and we're back. He and did his job. Is. Offense hasn't done theirs at all. And Not even close. Ball one, no strikes. So, yeah, he's at 59 pitches and earned an eight. <laughs> situation you expect the batters to be a little more patient possibly take until they get a strike with that you don't want to miss your opportunity hey what do you know base fucking hit and no one can get there and the lead off man aboard here's nolan arenado who is that the woman he's got both hits and first offering is fouled off well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully, the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Left field. And they get Arenado for the out. And there's one away. And up next for St. Louis, Lars Newtball. Backed oh, off the plate that time. Gorman. Stands at first with one out. And that's outside. Now 2 0. Oh. Right through there for a strike. Foul 
Balls one off. Two and two. Hey, it snuck through. All right. They fired it quickly. So it's first and second with only one away. And now here is Mason Wynn. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Two on, one out. Hit hard. That gets through. Throw back in. Bases are loaded. Bases down loaded. <laughs> Only one away. All of a sudden, the tying run is up. He got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front. All right, Contreras. 63-67. Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on. And maybe they've got something going here. Trying to get Oof, back in Gotta hit that pitch. Can't be late on that pitch. And you can't hit into a double play either. We gotta at least get one run. Oh, way early. With the tying run at the plate, and we're at the top of the eighth. Foul ball Oof, that was a rocket. Way foul. You know, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So, yeah. Base hit, one run is in. You're going to hold him up. Third puts on the brakes. Base is still loaded, and still only one Now we got the go-ahead run at the plate, and that should knock Flaherty out. Yep. There we go. Here comes Abner Uribe. Forty walks per nine. So he throws hard. He's got great pitching clutch, which is equal to his hits. Strikes out a lot of guys, but you gotta make this guy throw strikes. <clears throat> Seventeen walks in twenty five innings. Donovan's on deck. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. What you have to be careful of is that pitch that's up that's in on your hand. This one in the air center field. Carter under it. Drops into the glove. Both runners tagging. The throw is off. All right. 42. Let's go. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. And here's Donovan. He's 0 for 3, but he had five ribs last game. Mm. That was a nasty slider. Well, with both starters out of the game, this quickly becomes a bullpen game. And this is something we see more and more in the game today. That's not going to get him in. But hey, we cut the lead in half. Now we just need one base runner in the ninth. We'll have the tying run coming up. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, Nick Sandlin. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And a pitch. The plate ball one. Fastball in for a strike, and it's one and two. Got him with the splitter. There we go. Well, that split caught a lot of the zone. Definitely a hittable pitch, but coming off the fastball the pitch before, it's kind of tough to recognize. You notice there's something different about it. He threw it with the same arm action, same release point. And he left it up, but the movement and the change of speeds, that was enough to do the job. 
Base is empty, one away. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Deep drive down the line. Now ball. Got him. Bang and a miss. Struck him out. Two away. Two outs, base is empty. Adolis Garcia stepping in for the Rangers. 1-0. Pitches in the dirt. 1-0. Sandler, 30 years old now, and he was a second-round pick back in 2018. Here's a 1-2. Fights it off. You'll see another. <laughs> Golf the shit out of that. Luckily, it was foul. And a one two. There we go. Struck out the side. All right. Need a base runner. Looping a blast. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Oh, one's the count. Rocketed out towards right center. Of course, he tracks everything down in center field. Fucking everything, literally. Two outs away. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. That's a foul ball. Multi-time All-Star. He features a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a sinker. Now one and one. If you're the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. <laughs> so a foul ball makes it one and two. The Cardinals trailing by two here at the top of the ninth. Now oh, why would you change the pitch? Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Now it's the second baseman, Nolan Gorman. Swing and a miss as he was late. Oh, one. That one drilled left field. That might have enough. Yeah, it is. There we go. aggressive all the way and it paid off for him in a big way always scary for a pitcher when a guy can take a fastball down the middle and hit it to the right nolan field. no holes in a swing like that at that time that ball was hit solarino thanks for the follow welcome in yeah he had 50 bombs on the season he's been struggling in the playoffs he's getting hot though he's, he's had uh three hits in this game Looking to get the tying run on base. Nope. Falling behind two and one. Hey. They're down to their final strike. Real Wonka, thank you for the follow. All right, two and two. Hitters have made the adjustment, but I don't know if you ever get used to it. And that's three outs. <clears throat> Needed another hit last inning. All right, well, we didn't give up. We made a game of it. We almost got all the way back. And we're tied. Fucking Valdez just couldn't do it. Painter was phenomenal. Valdez was terrible. We had six hits. Gorman had three of them. Valdez was garbage. Painter, two hits, no runs, no walks, seven strikeouts in relief. All right, get a day off, and now it's going to be Tanner Bybee. It's Michael King. Let's go save.
Bybee's pitched two gems in the playoffs. <laughs> so won 17 games in the regular lane. season. And our pitcher in this game, Tanner Bybee. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. That's one. The inside edge. One and one. And that one ripped to left. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Ezekiel Duran stepping in for the Rangers. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. The kick to the pit. Runner goes. Strike in there. Throw is low and he can't pick it. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, he's batting leadoff and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game and puts oh, himself on there. second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. And he hits a ground ball right side and it finds its way through for a hit. Fires it to the plate. He beats it safe. And it's 1-0. Always feels good when you come through and get your team on the board first. To me, it's just a really controlled, balanced swing. He wasn't trying to do too much with it. Just stayed disciplined, got the barrel to the ball, and put it in play. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. The 0-1. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. This motherfucker. And in one hops the wall. They're waving around Duran. He scores, and they take a two-run lead. Well done. Drives in the run. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out by and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And a swing and a miss. Pitches outside. It's a good take. Just Bolton. misses. And it's two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Kicks and deals. And there's one down. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. Nope. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you commit nope. it. They no. tried to check the swing. Just couldn't do it. Next offer in there for a strike. And a count one and one. And he grounds one back up the middle. Base hit. Grounds third, headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. He's safe. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. Here's Josh Young. Breaking ball inside, and that's ball one. Fastball for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. Already three runs across in the frame here in game three. And down on strikes he goes, and now two gone. Now it's the veteran outfielder. Runner on the move. That's in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, and it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Okay. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him. Calls it in to end the end. Back here in St. Louis, and today on the hill, Michael King. What do we need to know here? He's someone you can rely on to provide quality innings in almost every one of his starts for. He knows how to command the mound. His stuff is good, but sometimes it's even better than good. If he gets off to a fast start, look out. It could be a tough day for this lineup. Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. Garcia grabs it on the run. Now the number two hitter, Brendan Donovan. And 
and first offering is fouled off. That one missed. The Rangers leading by three here in game three of the World Series. Smoked on the ground a second. Throws the first in time. Here's Josh Naylor. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Now here is Jordan Walker. Out to short. And it finds its way through for a hit. So that's two straight two out hits. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he can handle. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit. But he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And you'll take that anytime you can get him to find the hole. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Carter makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, second inning set to go. Here's the catcher, Sam Huff. Missed with a changeup, and it's 1-0. One one, the pressure is high for the players in the postseason, but maybe even higher for the managers. Every decision you make is critical to the success of the team and to your own reputation. A hey. swing and a miss as he chases way out of the zone. Gets a piece and stays alive. Well, for better or worse, managers are remembered for what they do in the hey. postseason. Pull the right strings. They might build a statue of you someday. One bad decision, and you might be updating your resume. You've got to be sharp. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Ball one. And that one just misses. Help a ball one. and no strikes. Just missed. Hey. Late with the swing there. As a hitter, you got to learn something from that pitch. He clearly wasn't timed up on the fastball. In a 2-0 count, you have to be ready to do damage. Oh, that fastball thrilled him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Evan Carter stepping in for the Rangers. He's one for one, let off the game with a single. Just missed Carter getting lead off in today's game, and he's won a silver slugger in the American League. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Eddie pulls it down, and there's two gone. Next up for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. There's a strike. Oh, and one. That's in there. Perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. He swung over top of the curveball. No runs on no hits, no errors, and one man left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. It's the Rangers three and the Cardinals nothing. Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. And now the right fielder, Lars Newtbar. And that one is lifted in the air. Garcia heads after it. One away. Here's Nolan Arenado. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Hey. That's in for a strike. The Cards trailing by three. Bottom half of inning number two. Back up the middle and it gets through. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Digging in. Mason Wynn. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. That oh. one off the mark. And that's ball one. Swing and a ball hit out to 
towards left center field. That gets down for a hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Henry Davis getting ready to hit. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. Swing and a pop-up. Duran in position. Brings it in. And there are two down. So the lineup flips over. Tommy Edmond at the plate. Fly to right. His first shot. In there at the knees. Going away. Right side, Duran. Fires over to first. And they get Edmund for the out. Play made, that ends the inning. Two left on. End of two here at Bush Stadium. It's the Rangers three and the Cardinals nothing. And we're back. New inning getting started. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Five back to work. In there at the knees. Strike one. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning so important for him nope. to get nope. on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length. In this one. Right through there for his strike. On the ground. Ball, and it crap. goes just foul. Bobber to right field, way back. This is fucking bullshit. That's his third home run of the series. And they add a run. It's 4-0. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. That misses off the outside edge. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. And now the count, one and two after the swing and the miss. With how good these offenses are, there's a lot of ball game left. Nobody on, nobody out with a run in. We're here in the top the half ball. of inning number three. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. Naylor pulls that one down, and there's one down. Up next for the Rangers, Wyatt Lankford. That one finds the zone. One, one. One, out. one out, base is empty. To third. Arenado to first, in time. And they got him. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Oh and one. Next oh one misses. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Two strikes. Swing and a base hit. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job. That's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out couple of singles back to back everything was on time and fluid in that swing got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock those always feel good and now Sam Huff that one fouled off right into the plate that breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing in two in and over and it could have been worse Back here at Bush Stadium, set for the bottom of the third. Now up for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Hey. First pitch swinging. Oh, one's the count. The 0-1. Oh. And ball one. That misses. Ball. ball two. Out to center. Carter under it. Falls it in for the out. Josh Naylor will hit next. 
And he's already singled in this game. Fastball for a strike. The Rangers leading by four here in the last half of the third. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. One down, and now the DH, Jordan Walker. One for one with a single so far. That one the other way, and that's down. A base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Here's Nolan Gorman. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. And the first offering is not close. This hitter loves attacking the first pitch, so not giving him something to hit is a good move. Just oh, missed. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Makes the grab. Two down. Throw not in time. It's second to double him off. Great hustle to get back. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. The throw to first. That's the inning. No runs on two hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. Game three. World Series game three. And here is Reese Hoskins. Lifted in the air, right field. New bar on the move. And a quick out number one. So the Rangers batting order turns over at the play. Evan Carter. And that one wrapped foul. Hey. Right through there for a strike. No ball, two strikes. Next off is down low. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. That one hammered center field. Edmund ranging back. Hits the fence. They're still chasing it as he rounds second. Now around third, waving it home. Relay throw home. Not in time. He makes it safely for an inside the park home run. Well, he just about hit it out of here, but once it took that carom off the wall like that, I mean, he really turned on the afterburner. And I'll tell you, as an outfielder, this is pretty much your worst nightmare, but playing the ball off the wall like that can be really tough sometimes. Aye. Definitely an exciting play. Next oh, pitch that's is awesome. outside. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Oh, that misses, and it's 2-2. Two two. One down, base is empty. Off the outside edge with that one, and now it's filled up. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there, just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. And look out. That one gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. Oh, he's only an out away from getting through the but he just lost control. New now, arm out of the bullpen, Mason Miller. Number Still five. pretty early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Seager, the runner at first with two gone. Three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. Here's Nolan Arenado.
and the pitch. And a pop off right side, foul territory. She hits right down the middle. Fucking weak contact every time. Up next to the card. Not shortstop. Mason Wynn picks up for the Cardinals. That's outside. Ball wall. This guy takes forever to get set and make a pitch, too. Here in the bottom of the fourth. And here it comes. And a foul ball. The pitch. Fouls it off, still one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Of course, it's right to fucking Carter and he's out. Carter. Snags it, and there are two outs. Two outs, bases empty. Henry Davis, next up for the Cardinals. Glide out his first time. And it's fouled away. Oh, one down. All one there. One, two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. That one out to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Back here in St. Louis. Now at the plate, Wyatt Langford. Down the middle for a strike. And it's 0-1. Langford, 25 years old, a former first-round pick in 2023. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Arnado calls it in, and there's one away. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke down as well, and that's what caused him to pop it up. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. Hey. That's a slider for a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. And now it's even up. This one popped up. Foul ground, first base side. And Garcia is out. And that is that. Back here in St. Louis, now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Tommy Edmond. King back to work. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to Hoskins. One up, one down. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Brendan Donovan. Donovan. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, the Rangers leading by five. Last half of inning number five. Pitch one misses, one. and one and one. Oh, and a good dude. eye there. Left hand batter waits. Oh, that's inside. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. 3 1, and he couldn't come up with it. It's tough after falling behind a hitter and two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter. But he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. And now, Josh Naylor. And a base hit right there. 
and the postseason success continues for him. And next is the Cardinals' four hitter, Jordan Walker. Hit on the ground, might be two. Flips it, that's one. Back to first, double play. And that's it for the inning. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Rangers five and the Cardinals nothing. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's going to be Sam Huff. And first offering is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Sliced hard, but foul. Swing and a pop-up. One down. Reese Hoskins stepping in for the Rangers. And first offering is fouled off. Base is empty one away, and we're at the top half of the six. Good job to fight that one off. Right-handed reliever. Pitch misses. Now one and two. Good eye right there. Three one. It's a good miss. Blows the eye. He passed him. That's a strikeout. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Carter in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Inside just missed. Two outs, bases empty. Out towards right center. That's well struck. This looks like extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. It's a double, and he's three for four tonight. And his hot hitting continues. They kept him in the yard that time, but all he's doing now is passing the baton, and everything seems to get started around this guy. Duran in the box now. No balls in a strike. Gorman gathers and throws the first. And that bottom of the sixth inning. Stepping in, Nolan Gorman. The pitch. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first and hustling for second. Well, he fought about two, but he's back to first safely. Lars Newport next up for the Cardinals. On the ground, God damn! Young over to second, on to Hoskins. Double play. If you blink, you might miss it, and that's the magic of the 5-4-3 double play. It happens so fast, which is a huge reason why this is such a delicate sequence. The entire play will break down if one person has bad timing. Arenado in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Two outs. We have nine hits and we can't score one fucking run. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. And that one is lifted Fuck in the air. Off. Garcia settles under it, makes the grab, and that's the inning. The cards leave one. And welcome back to the ballpark. We go. Jojo Romero gets the call from the pen. And they felt it was time to bring on a left-handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up. I think it's a good move. I know I never liked what opposing team did that to me. This one chopped to first. Naylor, the underhand flip, and Seager is set down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Kyle Schwarber. Hold on, 
I gotta turn off Discord because I'm tired of the alerts. And first offering is fouled off. Up and in, and he gets out of the way. Base is empty one away here in the late stages of game three. Oh. And another ball. And now the lefty. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. Also really good at that. What I like about this guy, his back stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. One down, base is empty. Battling here as he fouls it away. Comes the 2-2. That's down and in. I don't know how this bat will end, but I'll be sad when it does. So much fun watching this thing go back and forth. Three. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at bat like that one. Third time he struck out in this one, and definitely an individual performance you want to flush. He just hasn't looked very comfortable up there. Just one of those days, but. When you're still winning the ball game, at least you can focus on doing your part. Oh, Rangers go down in order. Three up. And we're back. Bottom of the inning. And now the Cardinals catcher, Henry Davis. And a pitch. Right hey. through there for a strike. And there's a foul ball. Only two now. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Here comes a pinch. Would Whoa, chase that down. time. Belton fires. That one ripped right center field. Could be extra bases. And that's going to roll to the wall. Not stopping. He's going for three. The relay, not in oh, time. He's hey. safe. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. Bounce to the left side. Seager fires over to first. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Here's the left fielder, Brendan Donovan. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. One run across in the frame so far. Here the bottom of the seventh. On its way to the corner. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Field two. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. Three for three with three singles. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. And that's off the inside edge. And a count two and one. In the air, right field, pretty well struck. That one back there. for that one and they close the gap it's 
5-2. That gives them hope they can pull off this comeback. They just need a few more swings like that, and they're back in business. Adios, Pelota! Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the play, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Next to hit, Jordan Walker. <clears throat> that first offering is fouled off. One of the this ones. is inside. Meanwhile, you have 11 fucking hits and only two runs. Tanner Scott appears to be getting loose. Swanson, a right-hander, loosening up as well. The one -one is Why am I so late with Walker? I don't understand. Ground ball right side, Durant. Whips it to first. Third out. Back here at Bush Stadium for the top. A new pitcher in the game, Yandier Cano. Just trying to keep this one close here. <laughs> this one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Gone! That one felt good, and they add to their lead. It's 6-2. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. All right, camera goes off, mic goes off till I win a game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side, as a hitter, it's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. Ground ball up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Well, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big one. Here goes the runner. He cut on and missed. Go to second. Well, you get away a little bit with not being so accurate when you've got such a great arm and you get rid of it quickly. And that's what happened right there. He made up for the lack of accuracy with excellent velocity. Nice job with the catch and throw right there. Slings it across. Play is made, two out. Two out, space is empty. Now, Reese Hoskins bounced up the middle. Over to first, out number three. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, A.J. Minter. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. That one pushed foul. You know, these cards doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. Double-digit hits, and they've done a great job of avoiding the strikeout. Only one of them so far, which tells you a lot. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Two strikes. And misses, it's a strikeout. Not the best location with the fastball on strike now three, but when you're right pumping here. high 90s, you get away oh. with some of those. More margin for error. Oh. Now, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's in with a stand up double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, nope, and ball. he hit the ball on the screws. Arenado at the plate now. That's ball one. Swing and the ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. The run comes in from second. It's six to three. It's a double, third hit of the ninth one. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Man, that feels...
so good to shoot an absolute goal the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. And that one fouled off. The Rangers leading by three near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Fastball almost got him there. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. Into center. Moving under this one. He's there. He's got it. Runner tags it second. In there oh. safely. So, out of the bullpen for the Rangers, Tanner oh, Scott. Three, three, three. And we all know about his slider. Number it's number just three, filthy, three. man. And Tanner. one of the better ones in the game, Go, I'd no. say. Spin rate's very high, and it just breaks a ton. Garcia makes the catch. And that is the inning. Cards on the board with this double. It's now six. This now into the game, hard Thomas. Hard. Now playing now third group. Number 12. Thomas. The Jays. He's the new third baseman. New pitcher for the Cardinals. Number 11. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here. So we'll see how it works out. Next offering is downstairs. And that's down it away. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Donovan makes the play. And there's two down. So now it's Corey Seager. That's it then. Going one. Oh, yeah. Nobody on. You're in the top of the dime. Well, that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well struck right field. Back there. Going gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game. It's 7-3. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Drew. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dead. Now that's back to right center. Can't get there. Base hit. Now he'll turn for second. And he's in there standing up with a two-out double. Been a pretty rough game at the plate for him so far. A bunch of strikeouts, so that felt good, I'm sure. That's out to center field. Edmund in position. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And here's the St. Louis leadoff man, Tommy Edmond. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Fly ball down the line. Garcia really on his horse for this one. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Put up one down. He's two outs away. And up next for St. Louis, Brendan Donovan. Out front with the swing, and that is strike one. Swings through that one. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. Swing, and he breaks his back. He's got it, and there's two down. So it's their last chance in this one. Now up for St. Louis, Josh Naylor. On the ground to first, and that's just foul. The Redbirds down by four. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Two pretty nasty sliders to get this hitter in an 0-2 count. If you're up there at the plate, you got to look up. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today.
Welcome to St. Louis and Bush Stadium. Just about set to go now. Today's starting pitcher, Chris Cutler. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, yeah. look oh. out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. In there at the knees for a strike. There's a strike, 95 of that one. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Edmund in position. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Here is Marcus Simeon. There's a strike. But Marcus Simeon, probably the biggest adjustment and improvement he's made has been on defense. Simeon made 35 errors as a shortstop in 2015 with the Oakland A's. And by the time 2021 came around, he won a gold glove with the Blue Jays. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. And an automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. Corey Seager, and a good one down, takes a strike. One out, the runner at second here in game four. Out in the left center for a line drive base hit. Coming around third is Simeon. He's safe hey, he as he gets his hand in. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Josh Young stands in now and watches strike one. And that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Around third. The relay throw. And he's in there. And a run. swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Allowed him. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Could be extra bases. He's in safely at second. A run comes in on the play. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. Edmund makes the grab, and there's two away. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. Ball. And takes low for ball one. Runner at 
at second, two down. Here in game four of the World Series. Just missed. Next pitch way upstairs. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Next offering is in for a strike. And a strike on the outside edge. Garcia on its second with two down. That's the third. And that one finds its way through. Around third. He will score. And they lead by four. Picks himself up in RBI. Turned on it nicely. Definitely a little out in front of the pitch, but he didn't hook around it too much and was able to keep it fair down the line. So next to hit for Texas, Ezekiel Duran. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get his money. That one is absolutely belted. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And into second easily with a two-out double. Now a relay to the plate. There's the tag. They get it. And that's the inning. So they move out. We go to the bottom of the first. Tommy Edmond at the plate. The wide to kick the pitch. There's the strike. With how good these offenses are, no there's ball. a lot That's of right. ball game left. Next ah. offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. No that one, one missed. Wind of the pitch. Bounce to the right side. Into the outfield base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Just one of those seen high base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes though. Rudder takes off. Oh, Ball outside. The throw. Oh, no. Tag. And he's out. Well, this is a real moment. That's fucking bullshit. No way. Still second base pitch defense was all over it nicely done from behind the plate with the catch and throw and a quick tag before he reaches the base one out base is empty ball. and another ball the ball next three. pitch misses Ball three. Just a few pitches in, but not very sharp on the mound in the home half of the first. But when you can score some runs for your pitcher in that first inning, you really want him to come out and shut that other team down so you guys can get back in the dugout and swing the bats. You've obviously got some hot sticks in the early part of this one. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now it's Josh Naylor. There's a strike. Two outs, base is empty. One that more. one almost hit him. Ball Next two. pitch is downstairs. Two one. That's a base hit. And that extends the inning. I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Yeah, first offering is fouled off. And yeah, the pitch. Ball one. to left center and that gets down into the gap. Naylor around second headed for third. Coming home. He'll score. It's 4-1.
puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Nice line drive to full side. Met it out. Woo! it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Nolan Gorman stands in here and leaves that one off the inside. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I think he was sitting on speed there. The next offering misses. Two, two and one. one Walker stands at second with two gone. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. Back here in St. Louis, all set for the start of the inning. And here's the catcher, Sam Huff. Fastball for a strike. It's 0-1. A chilly atmosphere here. Really what comes to mind when you think of postseason baseball. Fans doing whatever they can to stay warm and energized. Pitch in the dirt. And the count, 1-2. and two. You talked about the fans trying to stay warm, Boog, but it's a challenge for the players, too. Games like this really can be hard on them. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Leadoff man retired here in the second. On the ground, right side. And he takes it himself for the out. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Up next to the ring. Hit softly on the ground to third. Rolls across the diamond. And it's a 1 2 3. And Back in St. Louis as the Cardinals come up to hit here in the last of the second. Bottom half of inning number two. Here's Whoa. Nolan Arenado. First pitch, not close. Arenado measures six feet, two inches. A member of the 2000 hit club. And he's a former Gold Glove Award winner. Young tosses the first. And a quick out number one. Lars Newtball next up for the Cardinals. That one missing inside. One down, base is empty. Popped up. Young has a beat on it. Two down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Now here is Mason Wynn. Oh. And ball one. Right. Slider for a strike. Big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. Bounce to third. Fires over to Hoskins. Yeah, St. Louis goes down. Top half of the third inning. Now it's Corey Seager. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed oh. hitter. Well, these Rangers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more One challenging more. on the defensive side. They're hitting everything thrown at them. Their contact rate is in the low 90s. It's like they know what's coming, and that's just pretty ridiculous what they're doing right now. Those numbers are well above the major league average. Do it again. The shortstop the takes the ball. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Down on strikes. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Here's Josh Young. Right right. Through there for a strike. No ball. One strike. Got 
and looking for the strikeout. Fastball to letters frozen for strike three. Two outs, base is empty. And now the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. First pitch, and he just misses. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Two down, nobody on. Up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. From his knees, the throw. It's there, and that's a great play. And welcome back to the ballpark. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. Outside. Ball. One ball, no strike. That one hit to right. Garcia settles under it. Makes the catch for the out. One away. And here comes Tommy Edmond. One for one. He let off the bottom of the first with a single. There's the strike. Chase one upstairs there. I think he was a little excited there. Saw the fastball, but he needed a step ladder to get to that one. He's going to have to tighten it back up. He wants to have a good at bat. The Rangers leading by three here in the last half of the third. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Kicks and fires. Rips that one to right. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Edmund into second, and he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night, and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this oh. already. Donovan stands oh, no. in now, looks at that one inside. Top yep. of the zone for a called strike. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Sends it to first. Got it. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Here's Josh Naylor. Swinging a foul straight back. Two outs with a runner at third. In the air, right side. Garcia settles under it. And the inning is over. So one left for the Cardinals, and they trail it. The fourth game of the World Series. Now the left fielder, Wyatt Lankford. That's in there. One one. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Well, he hasn't quite settled in out there. Four runs in three innings. He's going to have to have some quick one, two, three innings to pitch deep into this ball game. One and two now. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a one, two again. Gets a piece and stays alive. Foul ball still a one and two count. Oh, Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Up next to the ring. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Hard ground ball, base knock. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Next up for Texas is runner on the go in the dirt. No Safe at What's second, right? and he easily steals the bag. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can oh, even steal the bag. Right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. We'll take a look at the pre-pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead 0-2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, 
clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. One, two. Hoskins at second with two down. Swing in the middle. And him out front for strike three. Back here in St. Louis, bottom four. Now it's the DH, Jordan Walker. First pitch misses. You know, these Cardinals doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Yeah, the righty deals. Ball two. Next offering misses down and away. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Foul ball. Outside, and that is ball four. That could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batter's on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off his shoulder. Here's Nolan Gorman. One -oh. That's inside. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Bounces into the outfield. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Here's Nolan Arenado. Grounded out his first time up. He was late there. Strike one. Oh, one. Oh, one. one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. No outs. Runners at first and second. Next oh, pitch is inside, and it's two and one. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Hit in the air, right field. Garcia settles under it. Corrals it. And there's one down. Now it's the right fielder, Lars Nukbar. 0 for 1 so far. That misses the zone. Ball one. The Cardinals trailing by three. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. There's a swing and a drop. Goodbye, Parker. And we're all square. It's 4-4. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing, and we're all tied up. Adios! Pelota! Breaking ball on the inside part of the plate requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job oh. mechanically. He deserves that home run. Win takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Gets to it with a slide. Throw to first. Nicely done for the out. Here's the catcher, Henry Davis. Lifted in the air, right center field. Carter makes his way towards it. Makes a nice running catch. And that's the inning. St. Louis gets three on the homer. It's now tied 4-4. Back here at Bush Stadium. Here's the center fielder, Evan Carter. And immediately pumps in a strike for the left-handed hitter. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Oh. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. No, Boog, after watching the first inning of this one, you would not have expected that this pitcher would be in such a groove He's and out. still in the ball game at this point. Naylor steps on the bag, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. And a foul ball. Tied at four. Fought off foul. Kicks and deals. Oh. Got him looked in. Picks up strikeout number seven. Chris third time through the order and a couple of quick outs for the start. Yeah, he's been very frugal today. Economical with the pitch count. 
Seeger, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. one strike. The wind of the pitch. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Two outs. Seager checks his swing, appeal to third, and no swing, says Jerry Hills did. Foul ball left side, he'll see another. All tied up, and we're at the top of the fifth. That's Next offering ball. upstairs. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Two down, nobody on. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. Just missed. Young in his sixth season, 29 years old. And he won a gold glove last season. Oh, Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. That ah. one catches the zone. And the count is two and two. The pitch. Full count. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Three, two. And ball, ball four, four to a board. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Right Garcia. Man, you got to challenge the guy. Now, now it's Jordan Pitt. Romano out of the bullpen. Number Still pretty key. early in the ball game, so this bullpen has some work to handle. Ah. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap no. that started yeah. left one. That one is inside ball one. Oh. And another ball. It's a big opportunity oh. right here, but I oh. love the way he's slowing oh. the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. Seeger at second. Young at first. Two out of the oh. inning. And they're all loaded up. Well, the stage has been set for this offense, Boo. It's all about creating opportunities, and this is one of them right here. Langford oh. up to bat next. Lays off the oh. ball. No strike. And foul off. Well, he missed a hittable off-speed pitch right there. Not sure exactly what the timing. Sometimes you get a backup breaking ball. You're expecting it to make its move at the end. It never does. And you're tied up. Newt Bar sizing this one up. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third. Back here in St. Louis, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Tommy Edmond. Splits the plate. Going oh, along. You know, oh, these cards doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game when the numbers back that up. One thing that really one stands more. out to me is how they've only struck out one time. That's good discipline right there. And on top of it, they're producing more than a hit per inning. Good no. eye on that spot. All those Two numbers more. mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Next offering is foul back. High fly ball, pretty well struck out towards right center. And that one hops the wall. Edmund around second. Safe at third with a triple, his third hit of the day. Brendan Donovan next up for the Cardinals. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that no time. One strike. That one, one not close. And now it's even one and one. And here it comes. And that one in the air center field. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. One away. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but 
competitor like him, he is looking forward to make it up for it in his next at bat. On the ground. Gathered in by Seager. Throw to first. Now two away as they get a run across. Next is the designated hitter, Jordan Walker. Up the middle. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and they don't get the out. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now Nolan Gorman. He swings and fouls one off. Walker off the of first with two away. Four, and strike three. two. No ball. Two strikes. That one, missed two. by a lot. Now one and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Smoked on the ground a second. Gets it to first. Yeah, you're and right. And that ends the inning. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. Five innings complete. It's the Cardinals five and the Rangers. And we're back. And now the first baseman, Reese Hoskins. Oh. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Swing and a miss. And he got him to oh, chase. Geez. That one just misses. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. Got it. Now one away. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely. Oh, and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that bat. They've got him up against the ropes. Got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Edmund going after it. He's got it. And there's two away. And now the catcher comes up to him. Sam Huff. That one drifts inside. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top half of the sixth. No. Just off the outside edge. And now 2-0. Oh. Hit on the ground to the right side. Gorman throws on the first. And that is the... On the mound now, Cole win. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Now, Got to do his best to keep the score right no, where it is. is. Oh. And the batter now, Nolan oh. Arenado. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Down the line. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. The wind of the pitch. They oh. tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Bullpen action for the Rangers. A.J. Minter. The veteran southpaw is getting ready to come on if needed. Oh, and a great stop. And he beats the throw. He's sick. A nice diving play at second. Gave it a great effort. But I was just impressed by the hustle down the line to beat the throw. That was a fun play. Great stuff right there. Yeah. Newt Bar in the box again. Takes the strike. There's the strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. The 0-2. Swung on, popped up, left side. Young settles under it. And it's caught for the out. And stepping in for the Cardinals, Mason Wynn. That's a strike, and it's 0-1 win. Oh, yeah. The rookie of the year from a year ago, he features a four-seam fastball, a curve, a slider, oh. a changeup, and he works in a two-seam. Arenado, the base runner at first with one out. Center field. Carter gets under it. Snags it for the second out. Here's the speedy catcher, Henry Davis. Swings here and blasts one left field. And that one hops the wall. 
Lee runner gets the stop sign in third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. And now, Tommy Edmond. Two outs, two in scoring position here in the bottom of the sixth. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And welcome back to the ballpark. New arm of the mound for the Cardinals, JoJo Romero. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And that one just missed off the outside edge. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. him out and that's the first out Marcus Simeon stepping in for the Rangers fouled off he was late looking to get the tying run on base that's swing and a miss as he was late that time okay. just misses the mark outside the zone one ball and now it's one and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Next offering is outside. Holding on to a one-run lead late here in game four. Ground ball right side and foul ball. Out to short. Win. Zips it across. And that quickly, two away. And here's Corey Seeker to hit. Just missed. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the top half of inning number seven. In for a strike. And it got even a one. And a good eye there. And that's in there at the knees. And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Yeah, there's a the ball. Really good take, especially two strikes. Lifted in the air now the left side. And that lands in no man's land, a foul ball. Up the middle, and he knocks it down. And they get the out after the ricochet. Rangers go down in order. Nothing doing for the Rangers. Bottom of the seventh. And the batter now, Brendan Donovan. Win back to work. There's the strike at the knees. Line to the left center. Base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that. Number that three, pretty much split the zone three, down the three, middle, three. and those are the yeah. ones where you got to make them pay. Naylor. And here's the first baseman, Josh Naylor. One for three. Ball. Pitch misses there, and that's ball one. One ball, no strike. No. Wouldn't chase that time. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That misses the zone, and it's 3-0. Oh. Out there to center. Settles under this one. Makes the grab, one away. Jordan Walker next up for the Cardinals. Hard 
ground ball base now. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. I really like that swing, man. He didn't just push it the other way through the infield. He drove it that way, and it kind of makes me think he was thinking opposite field as he stepped into the box. Got a pitch he liked, and he got it done. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second, and he moves up to third. Now two away. And up next for St. Louis, Nolan Arenado. Outside. And that's ball one. Corners are occupied with two down. On the ground to third. And that one finds its way through. Runner from third in the score. And they lead by two. <laughs> job done to put him up by two there's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter it's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there Lars Newtball digs in now first and second two down here the bottom of the seven Only two now. Oh. And that one is inside. One, well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand. Probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch. So got to stay ready for it. <laughs> Next two, offering two. way off the plate. swinging so one run in the inning on this base hit it's a two-run lead now at six four back here in st louis we go to the eighth down the third Nick Sandlin on a pitch out of the pen here. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Well, these Rangers, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And now here is Adolis Garcia. Swings through that one out front that time. No ball. One strike. That's to third. Zips it to first. Two up, two down here at the top of the eighth. A couple of pitches and a quick out. Langford in the box now. No balls and a strike. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the eighth. One and one. this is the zone, and it's one and one. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Just missed it. Make short work of him there. Back here at Bush Stadium, bottom of the eighth. Leading off, Mason Wynn. Oh. Well, that's outside. One and oh. That puts the point. Ground ball to middle. That's a base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Here's the catcher to hit, Henry Davis. Puts a bunt down, Hoskins. There's one, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Back to the leadoff spot in the St. Louis lineup. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Tommy Edmonds. 
three pitch strikeout last time up got to put up more of a fight in this one and a foul ball righty delivers swing and a pop off in foul ground drifts towards it calls it in and there's two away Now got left field. Brendan. Brendan Donovan, the next to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. And a foul ball. Ball one there. One, two. Davis leads off first with two down to the inning. In the air, out towards right center. Garcia heads after it. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Back here in St. Louis. And now, Reese Hoskins. And the pitch. Right through there for a strike. In the air, out towards left center. Eddie pulls it down, and there's one away. He's two outs away. Here's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. Up the middle, finds its way through base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Next offering is in for a strike. With the tying run at the plate, you're the top of the night. Strike three, got him swinging. Two out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and oh. you know you're going to have no chance of oh, touching no. it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Well, Next two. offering is down low. This one popped up. Under it. He's got it. Ball game. And the Cardinals work their way. And that's a winner! That's a winner! Games of peace. Well, you can tell these players feel great and also relieved to even up the series. There's so much on the line. You've worked so hard to get here. I would be surprised if we see a game seven in this series. Here's one final look at the line score from this one, Chris. It was a close two-run game, and a couple of key moments just really made the difference. Wish Twitch would stop sending me notifications from my Twitch pack for a million to show. Fuck off. I think I've got 40 notifications from these bitches. Stop sending me notifications. I don't need that pack. Leave me alone. What changed in that game? I went upstairs. I got some apple juice and some creatine, and I made my brain fucking lock in. I was like, no focus. Our final line score tonight, first for the Victoria St. Louis Cardinals, six runs on 14 hits, no errors, they left eight runners on base. We left eight runners on base. Jesus. Yeah, I was away for a little too while I was playing. All right. Fucking ridiculous. All right, game five. Got to update to my title. Save.
I'm going to tell you right now, this is not fun. <laughs> it is not fun. It is not fun. And uh, I'm pretty sure that we're not going to throw Framber Valdez in this game. I'm going to throw Andrew Painter. All right, Manoa against Kumar. Why is yeah. you know what painter is more rested? Let's go back. That would leave us with Manoa and Bybee for games six and seven. There. Painters had full energy. He pitched great in relief back in game two when we got lit up early. So we might we might have to use Fromber for game seven, but I think Bybee will be fully rested. There's a day off after this game, so that should get him fully rested, get him closer. So it'll be all hands on deck for game seven anyway, so it really won't matter. And yeah, I changed my jersey to the uh, Cardinals welcome, jersey. Thanks for joining us. The World Series on MLB, the show coming up. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the St. Louis Cardinals. About to get started here. And on the hill, Andrew Painter. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking ball. for in this one. Does he have a up. feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. He's got a nasty cutter you're gonna see me throw that pitch a lot up in the strike zone and now we take a look at the rangers lineup this is a veteran led lineup right here a lot of players with plenty of experience singing yeah, no doubt about that boo. these guys have been around the, the game for a long time and they may not have the flash that they once did but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark, they know how to get down to business, and they understand what the job is at hand. Two down, nobody on. Out towards left center. Donovan settles underneath it. Brings it in for the third out. And we're back. And starting this one, Kumar. He is nothing special. We should be able to hammer this dude. And he only has 67 stamina. Rocker. How about a scouting report on him? It's always
is interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. Rocker, a big part of the storyline for us today. He's making his debut and hoping to carve out a valuable role in the mound of this ball club. Ball. That one ran inside, almost got him. He's at not making point, his debut at all. He's pitched all year. Undrafted free agent. All that yeah. matters once you reach this level is producing. Can you help your team get better? It's a big question. That said, you don't want to put too much pressure on your debut. I hope he's taking time to enjoy this experience today. Short hop liner handled it short. Seeger fires over to first. Two gone. Two outs, space is empty. Here's Josh Naylor. Just the ball, missed. Down. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Oh, got under it. To center, Carter drifts towards it. Makes the grab. And that is that. blown out to center, too. Back here in St. Louis. And now here's the veteran DH, Kyle Schwarber. Out right. in the corner for a strike. It's over on. Schwarber, a former All Star, a member of the 1000 Hit Club. He joined the team as a free agent. That one fouled off. Gotta love the intensity of postseason baseball. Players on both sides at such a high level of emotion. Everything is amplified. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Here's the left fielder, Wyatt Langford. And that one lifted in the air, center field. They got it for out number two. Talk about that intensity, boy. It comes out of everybody. Think about celebrations by players like Carlos Correa, Jose Bautista, Kirk Gibson. Just iconic moments. Right down to shoot, and that's strike two. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And it's a three up, three down. Bottom of the second. So now here's the Cardinals designated hitter, Jordan Walker. Now fly ball to right center. Garcia heads after him. And there's one down. Here's Nolan Gorman. Oh. Right center field. And just missed it. That's two that we just missed. Right. We gotta take some pitches now. We hung that pitch and I fucking missed it. Fires in a fastball at 95. Next offering is foul back. On the ground, right side. Fires over to Hoskins. Gets it easily, ends the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. Out of the third inning, and here's the veteran outfielder, Adolis Garcia. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And it's off the wall. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. A well-deserved double or a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced and squared it up about as well as you could possibly act. Going in scoring position now and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. That one miss. Runner in scoring position. Nobody out. Arnado. In plenty of time. The first and one away in the top of the third. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. No, that missed. Just that's missed. That's the ball. Painter, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly oh. is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Next offering is 
is in for a strike. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. God damn, we don't have any arms at all in the outfield. Nobody can fucking throw. Nobody can fucking throw. Forget how many outs there were. Up next for the Rangers, Ezekiel Duran. And there's the strike. One run across in the frame so far here in game five. More and more guys are looking to slot regardless of the count. In this situation, we'll keep a close eye on this approach. The pitch. Bites that one away, still one and two. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Got it. And an over on the strike. Line. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And the home. Back here at Bush Stadium as we go to the last of the third. Here's Nolan Arenado. Line drive. Base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. So digging in, Mason Wynn. Third baseman playing on the edge of the grass, looking for the sack bunt. There's yeah. a strike. On the God left damn it. Side, six, four, three, and they turn the double play. Well, a very fast developing play right there. No margin for okay. error. Nice double play on a fast runner up the line. And now the Cardinals catcher, Henry Davis. That ball, just misses. That and that is ball one. Home team down a run. Here in the last half of the third. And another oh, ball. Curveball kind of backed up on him there. I think it just slid out of the hand a little bit too soon. Just that missed. That's the ball. 3 0. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Swing and a ball lifted in the air left field. Pretty well struck. That's back there. It's gone. <laughs> Salute smash to left. And this game is tied. It's 1 1. Wow, what a clutch swing. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. And in this game. I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get down through the ball to create backspin and hit it out of the ballpark. Really nice job. Back to the top of the lineup, Tommy Edmund. Next up for the Cardinals. That's One down ball, in. No strike. center field Carter as this one sized up and that is that one for the Cardinals on the solo home run all even at one apiece this is the World Series on the show World Series game five stepping in the long ball threat Corey Seager swing to miss well, these Rangers, oh, yeah. as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Breaking yeah. ball through there for a strike. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working. God oh, damn this motherfucker! dugout that's his fifth homer of the series it's 2-1 he's swinging a red hot bat this isn't the first home run we've seen him hit these last All few right. games but it probably won't be the last 
Schwarber. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and one. And a swing and a miss there. Well, just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. Drifts towards it. And a foul ball. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. And that's no, outside. That's out. Two balls, two strikes. Swings and sends a rocket to right. Short out of the play. And there's one down. Not fooled at all right there. He was clearly all over it. But sometimes you hit it too hard and right at someone. You're looking for one of those loop hits to get a knock sometimes. Langford batted with one down. Takes a strike. Up the middle. Gorman. Jump throw. Got him. Nice play. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Josh Young. Nice curveball for a strike. Inside, just missed. One and one. Next offering in there for a strike. That is strike two. Two outs, base is empty. And a base hit into right center. Not where I was aiming. <laughs> just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to no, carry hit, through the, the middle of the field. Garcia well, stands in with two away as he takes a ball. This looks like extra bases. Young around third. The relay to the plate. Got him. It's exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets Woo! cut down the run to end the inning. Back here in St. Louis, bottom of the fourth, digging in, Brendan Donovan. And ball uh -oh, one. You know, these Cardinals just haven't what produced else? as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. I think things are happening a little quicker than this offense would like, and we see it in the numbers. They're hitting into a lot of outs early in the at-bat. The pitch. Mm -hmm. Ground ball up the middle, and that chance handled. On the run, sends it over to first. One up, one down. Josh Naylor getting ready to hit. Right at him. Never had to move. Carter makes the ground. And a couple of quick outs. Man, he yeah, smoked that basketball. It's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to ball. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Walker, the next to hit, takes ball one. Not even close there. Two and oh. Well, usually Taking strike. Confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, head 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. Slice down the right side. Hmm. Down by a run. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Fights it off. You'll see another. This ah. one's chopped to the ground. Duran tosses the first. Three up, three down. Inning over. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers. Sam Buck. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Huck in his sixth season, 29 years old, and he was drafted in the seventh round back in 2016. Edmund in position. And there's one down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Going one. Hoskins pushes it foul. Waits at the corner for the strikeout. So the batting order turns over. Evan Park stepping in for the Rangers. That's towards center. Edmund in position. <laughs> and that is that. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And here is Nolan Gorman. Oh, quit swinging the first fucking pitch. God damn it. Rolling away fucking at bats. Inside with the curve. The Redbirds trailing by a run. Last half of inning number five. Fastball for a strike. 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss. Two. He was late. Well, he went inside a couple of times one, and now outside. Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And that one is lifted in the air. Carter on his way over. Makes the grab. He fucking catches everything. It's ridiculous. These outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play for Arenado in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Slider misses outside. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Line to left. And they get Arenado for the. We can't find any grass. Everything we hit, they fucking track down. It's goddamn ridiculous. What's up, Batten? I'm in a bad fucking mood. I'm just going to tell you right now. Now it's the second baseman, Ezekiel Duran. That way to the knees for a strike. There's a foul ball. Chase is a fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Let's take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of. I don't want to look at it. I've already lived it. Head 02 as a pitcher. You can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect. This motherfucker's hit five home runs in six games in the World Series. All you can do is hope to foul that off. through that one for strike two. Okay. He normally does damage on that pitch in that location. Just a swing and a miss there. I don't think you want to throw it again, though. Gorman slings the first, and Seager is set down. Two outs, space is empty. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And that one cutting but missing down low. Here's a 1-1. One, one. And that one. skips in the dirt. Clobber to right field. Way back. It's not where I threw the pitch. A gigantic blast. It's 3-1. That one just sounded different. And might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the boot. Next offer. I really like Fuck these. Fuck these announcers. Distracting as hell, repetitive as hell. Singleton's a fucking baby back. Just shut up. That's the ball.
Not good. Personally, doing okay. Not good playing this fucking game. A college football game can't come out soon enough. Every fucking time, it's right at him. Why can't we hit the ball around these guys just once? Every fucking time, it's a right at rocket, right at him third, right at second, right at first. Fucking track everything down in the outfield. God damn this fucking bullshit. Look at this, and we can't feel... One strike. Nope, that's outside. Ball. Ball four. Take your base. The center field. Two 
One ball, two strikes. That's in. One and one. Two and one. Good, good.
and two. Now playing right side. Number 13. Victor. Yeah. Now pitching for the card hard. Number 75. Now, this is for Texas. Number 66. Right. Your ball, one strike. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's go.
one. No, that missed. That's the ball. Three, one. Just missed that.
now pitching for the Cardinals, number 25, Mason Miller. That's the ball. One ball, no strike. That's the ball. Two up. Yeah. Two more. Two right. Oh, yeah! Now, pitching for Texas, number 34, AJ. One ball, one strike. That's the ball.
go! Guys, 99 contact against lefties. Number 35, 
John Henry. Ball, no strike. The first place is cover one two. Fuck. The final line score for our ball game tonight. For the victorious Rangers, four runs on nine hits, no errors, they left five runners on base. Well, we got to win two in a row on the road.
You got to this guy early last time. Donovan hit a three-run homer in the second inning, and that got us going. <clears throat> You gotta quit hitting the ball to this guy. He catches everything. Wasn't even close. Didn't even need that animation. There we go. Mm, good pitch. Spring it ball four. God damn it. This guy, I don't know how he eats some of these pitches. Just don't know. I'm not even going to let him bat. I'd rather face Schwarber.
Come on. So fuck Corey Seeger. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Go. He's going to be out at first because he's so fucking slow, but at least we got the man to third with less than two outs. Anybody else and he's safe. All right, Lars, no pop-up, no strikeout. Same ground ball. Anywhere up the middle is going to score a run. Oh. <laughs> There it is. Got the lead. Thank you very much. And he's safe at that. Just fell. All right, got the lead. Now we got to hold it.
God damn, a good throw and he's out. He's a fucking slow catcher. God damn it. Defense in this game is just a nightmare.
one and one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Unbelievable. Second and third and nobody out and we're not going to score. God damn. I hate this fucking game. Hey. Oh. 
ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Hop on with this bullshit on the edge. Call a fucking strike. Hey, he doesn't throw it away this time. This game would be tied if he doesn't throw the fucking ball away. I'd rather have the slow-ass runner at second base than Evan Carter at first. <clears throat> Yeah, he'll get it. Everybody in this outfield is a goddamn gold glover. No one, the ball will not fall unless I hit it over the fucking wall. Fuck! And he's going to chase that down, of course. This game is not balanced. Defense is not balanced. He hasn't made a bad throw the entire fucking playoffs. Three rounds of the playoffs and the airmails one that lets the go-ahead run score. He is so fucking slow. 
everybody else would have beat that out. And he's going to catch that. I don't think that has enough. I was wrong. We got a tie game, boys. Ah, oh, fuck this goddamn chat. Adios, Somebody else put the fucking sound command in.
Jojo Romero. Oh, come on with this bullshit. How many extra base hits is he going to get on shit like that? Come on, I hate this fucking team. Squeeze play with the bases loaded. <laughs> Why did he, I, I'm hitting the button to go to the bag and he throws it to the pitcher when he's like two feet away from the bag. Just run, look where he's at. Why does he get up and run to the bag? He's going to beat there, he's going to beat both the pitcher and the runner. What, what the fuck was that? That's a fucking home run. Of course not. Not in this ballpark where it's 410 to that spot. Oh my god, I hate Evan Carter. I hope he fucking tears his ACL. Nolan, if you ever fucking had a big fly in you, this is the goddamn time to do it. Get out of the fucking park! Yes! Fuck you, Texas! Why is my fucking sound command... No. 
Fucking pain in the ass, man. Gameplay bullshit is off the hooks, man. I think my wife just got home from her trip.
We still have to deal with Corey Seeger and uh, Schwarber in the ninth. If he walks, I'll put in Victor Scott. <clears throat> Well, I would have walked if I hadn't swung in a piece of shit dirt. Oh. That will not drop, because fucking Evan Carter has 900 speed and 900 range. Nothing fucking drops. In front of him, to the left of him, to the right of him, over his head. The only way I get to hit the center field is I have to hit it over the wall. I hate that motherfucker. Scott for Donovan if he gets on uh, just a single and that's going to get caught because Langford's just as bad in left field Better than a home run. He's already hit five of those this series. And now he's out of the game. Do something! Why is he running in circles? At I push the button and nothing fucking happens. Wow, that was a that was a line drive. I thought it was a ground ball. Now Third <laughs> I 
We're gonna lose the fuck. I'm out. See you later, guys.